Right now, let's go ahead and check in with Blake and see how the rest of the weather is looking for us on this happy Monday and the rest of this turkey week. Yeah, you know what? The weather not looking foul at all, speaking of turkeys, but I will tell you, it, were, it was, if you do not like the warmer weather, back in 1965, the warmest temperature we've ever had on Thanksgiving Day coming in at 88 degrees. So I guess you could say the day of the gobbler. Warm as the cobbler. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at, uh, let's see, some, uh, how about some cold stats here? Frozen turkeys, the top three coldest. 1911, we woke up to 20. One degree, so it can get cold this time of year. Although this particular autumn has been very, very warm for North Texas. 64 right now in Dallas, 65 in Denton, 64 here in Fort Worth. So pretty much everywhere you look, 64 or 65 degrees, and these temperatures are running about five to 10 degrees warmer than they were just th this time yesterday. Future track, we're talking future cast, I should say. We're talking about temperatures cooling on down. Into those low 40s once again. We woke up to 42 degrees this morning at DFW. 41 is what we're calling for in Dallas. 42 Fort Worth. 39 in Bridgeport there. And uh, generally everywhere you look, upper 30s and lower 40s. A few mid 40s out there as well. And the future cast calling for generally temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s as we head into your Tuesday. Satellite and radar will give you a nickel if you can find a cloud. It is just absolutely beautiful out there this afternoon. Most of the clouds are out here near New Braunfels into the San Antonio area, stretching all the way back into the Big Bend and uh, towards El Paso as well. Temperatures not looking very November like. 66 right now in DFW, 68 in Austin, 70 in San Antonio, 71 degrees there in Houston. Let's get to that nationwide weather. We're talking about not much. In fact, very, very quiet nationwide. The exception of a few snow showers out here towards upstate New York. Most of the rain has now exited the East Coast. So if you are doing some traveling this afternoon, not much going on. We are looking at a few airport delays. Dallas Love Field coming in with a 30 minute delay, but that is the only one I can find nationwide because weather wise, it is pretty quiet. So as we head into your Tuesday, not much going on out to the West. 67 for your high temperature in Denver for tomorrow. 43 in Chicago, 51 in Nashville, some mid 40s out there from Boston into Philadelphia with lots of sunshine. Heading into your Wednesday, clouding it up here in Texas, but all in all nationwide still pretty quiet. A front becomes active as we head into Thanksgiving Day. That, that will bring some morning rain to our area and then push off the Texas coast heading into Thanksgiving Day afternoon and then uh, stretching on into the Ohio Valley as well, brings some rain to Nashville and places like Cleveland. If you're headed to Chicago, nice and sunny, a high temperature of 40, 27 for a high there in Minneapolis, 56 in Denver, and 65 degrees in San Francisco. Here locally, this is how it plays out heading into Thanksgiving. Some rain showers out ahead of a front heading into the very early morning hours. This is midnight here as you see that front pushing on through. And then by 7 o'clock, I really think most of the rain is pretty much done, leaving behind just a smattering of clouds heading into the afternoon. And those clouds will be with us as we head into your Friday as well. So as we take a look at that Thanksgiving Day forecast, once again, 57 degrees for that high temperature, a north wind 15 to 25 miles an hour. Uh, showers ending early with clearing skies and over the next seven days, a couple of warm days, Tuesday into Wednesday, and then much cooler, Ken, as we head into Thursday and Friday. All right. Thank you very much, Blake. If you